What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to get close-up macro shots such as this one of a spider. Looks like it's cleaning its legs and here he goes. So all you have to do to get close-up macro shots is you need a macro photography lens such as the Raynox clip-on lens that I'm using and you need a digital camera and a tripod. So let me show you exactly what I'm using to get these shots. So here is my macro lens and this is simply a clip-on macro lens called the Raynox DCR150 made in Japan. And this lens clips onto the front of the camera. And this is a digital camera. It's a Canon PowerShot SX40 HS and it's simply a digital camera with a not detachable lens so it's not an SLR and therefore we can simply clip on an attachable lens to the front of our camera and as you can see this gives us a border around our photo but once we begin to zoom in you look beyond the border and you get a nice clear shot so we're about a six inch distance, six to eight inch distance from our target on a tripod. And we're just gonna zoom in and I'm gonna set my camera to AV mode in manual focus. And I'm just gonna adjust my focus until the spider comes into focus. And I'm gonna continue to zoom in until I get the shot that I want and adjust my manual focus and then simply hold down button take my shot and that's all there is to it so what I recommend for insect photographs is that you take a photo of the face so I'm gonna go around and face him from the other side and that will give us a better photograph and allow us to focus in on the eyes like we had in the beginning of the photo so you have to be very cautious around insects not to scare them off or else they will run and you will not be able to get your shot so here it is zoomed in I'm just gonna focus in on the eyes from the right distance and snap my shot and then we can keep going in closer so we're at 29 times zoom now focus in on the eyes here is full optical zoom 35 times for the digital camera and then you can also do digital zoom. So this is 68 times digital zoom. This is 140 times digital zoom. This is max zoom on this camera. But you lose a lot of your quality with this. So here's a shot from 68 times, still using digital zoom. Try to get it in focus. So he's on the move now. So that's how you do macro photography. This is very simple, affordable, cheap macro setup, and it allows you to get out there and practice. And once you get good at it, or once you figure out if you want to do macro photography as a hobby, then you can upgrade and get a more expensive camera with better features, higher quality, and so forth. But this is a great start, and you won't spend too much money, and you'll be able to see some very cool insects close up. So the cool thing about macro photography is once you get out there and get really close in, you'll realize that there's so much life out there and all you have to do is just move a few inches and you have something else to photograph. So here's a caterpillar. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Be sure to comment and subscribe and drop a like if you found this video helpful. Also check out some of my other macro tutorials and videos. And I hope you guys enjoy and have fun.